when you change your 1688 app from chinese to english using this method i'm going to show you guys in this video you don't need to use google translate to translate the app again and literally everything will be translated in english okay this will make it very easy for you to select products see how to select products on once it is properly see how to chat chinese suppliers directly on one six eight eight and also um, make it easier for you to make payment directly on one six eight eight take a look at how my sixteen eight eight app is entirely in english everything is in english and this will make it easy for me to order products make payment on sixteen eight eight app in fact whatever thing i want to do on sixteen eight eight app is very easy for me because as you can see it is now in english language okay i didn't do this by using um translating apps hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is lisa i'm a mini importation coach i teach people how to start mini importation business business from china and i teach people how to succeed in mini importation business so if this sounds like what you're interested in join the family and subscribe to my youtube channel okay so in this video i'm going to be showing you all practically how you can change your 1688 app okay from chinese to english you guys know that 1688 is a very popular and big e-commerce app that business owners and those who would like to go into mini importation business use it to import products from china to their country from china to nigeria or whatever country that you are in okay so a lot of people find it difficult shopping from 1688 app because of language barrier because it is written in in chinese language okay but i have found a very easy way that you can shop on the 1688 app do whatever thing you want to do on the 1688 app in english language okay i found a way how you can change the entire 1688 app to english okay so if you've been wanting to start importing from 1688 for your business you know for as a mini importer irrespective of any country that you're in pay attention to this video because this video is going to be very helpful to you so let's move into the practical aspects we will do this using an alipay so you open your alipay app and you click on this human head icon by your right when you click on it you click on setting the above setting on the app so when the setting is open you click on general can you see the general once you click on the general then it will take you here you click on translation to okay once you click on translation to this blue icon make sure it is turned on my own is turned on you can see so you select your language if you want english then you select english if you want ecuador espanol different languages depending depending on your country and the language that you want the cc app to be translated to but i selected english so we are going to go back to our alipay home page right here we click on this last icon here then we are click on more we are going to click on more you click on more okay then i click on more then you click this search icon above once you click on that search icon above right then it will bring out space for you to type you can see now i'm going to type my 1688 i'm going to type 1688 so once you click on the search bar you type 1688 the first one that came out you click on it so once you click on it can you see that it has brought out our once my 1688 um app my 1688 dashboard so it will bring out your 1688 dashboard this is exactly how you're going to look can you see this translate icon here okay this is can you see the translate icon here all you're going to do you can see the 688 app is currently in china but i want to change this to english so i'll be able to select product make order see product this um, description in fact whatever thing i want to do right now on cc is it i want to be seeing it in english i want to change the app to english to be able to make purchases very easily and more easily and to understand the app in english so i've clicked on this translate can you see it is translating so have you seen that the app this is it it once it's it have translated 
everything is now translated to English. Can you see as I'm scrolling up, everything is translated to English. Now I've clicked on a particular product item. Let's see that even when you click on the um, product item, it is still translated in English. Have you seen that this product item has been also translated to English? Mobile phone. Have you seen the description? Mobile phone, bracket, desktop, uh, lifting, and frequency. And this is sold for 5 yen. Even the reviews. Can you guys see the reviews down? The reviews with pictures and everything. I've clicked on the reviews. Let's go and see. So that you see that usually 68 reviews are always in English. Like everything is always in Chinese. Sorry, have you seen it? The reviews are always in Chinese. But it has, with this method, I've changed, I've translated it to um, English. Have you seen that it is now in English? Now, I didn't even need to, you know, screenshot it and go to Google Translate to translate it to see what those that gave a review wrote about the review. Okay, I automatically, it, because it here, every all the reviews left by any customer is already translated in English. Okay, so even if you want to place order, it's... Uh, so using this method and let's say you want to buy any item even when you click on your home page on ccnc in fact everything is entirely the app whatever thing i want to do on this app now on this one ccnc app is now in english i can read product description in english as you can see the product descriptions are all translating or are all changing to english without me going to them um, screenshotting and going back to you know um google translate to translate every page okay even my dashboard my one six eight eight dashboard has been changed to english now let me show you guys what i mean you know, also once it says where well, you click this your human head icon, it's take you to your profile where you see to be shipped, about to ship, and all the I um tools. But right now it has been changed to English. Can you see it? Pending payments to be shipped, pending receipt. So, using this method, you can see that everything on my 1688 has been changed to English language, right? So, if you've been finding it difficult, you know, shopping from 1688 because of the Chinese language barrier, using this method is just the best because it is now in English. You have changed it to English and shopping and getting the product description and everything it is now will now be changed to english okay so you want to go into mini importation you want you want to start buying products for your business but your problem is the language barrier you just just use this method i've explained in this video okay can you see even this product this particular item everything has been changed to english everything okay so always use this method to make your purchases on 1688 app okay if you don't want to be going through the stress of you know um screenshotting each dashboard going to google translate to translate it to english going back just this way is straightforward okay as you can see what i've shown you in this video here this this process is straightforward okay even if you want to select items that you want to buy as you can see here it is already in english the process is in english just just select the um items or products you want to buy you know make payment directly on everything that goes on directly they will deduct the money from your alipay account okay and 
you are good to go. Just the same process. In fact, nothing changes. So this this is better for you, for those that find shopping on one six eight eight app, you know, stressful because of the language barrier. Use this method, okay? I believe you. You try this method and also let me know your experience using this method in the comment section, okay? I believe this video is helpful or going to be helpful to you. Please like, leave a comment, okay? A positive comment and also subscribe if you've not subscribed before, alright? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! If you have questions about this process, let me know in the comment section, okay?